Many consumers want to know where their stuff comes from. What better way to ascertain the true identity of a natural commodity than by using the DNA that nature gifted that commodity with. Cotton is one of the most complex supply chains I've ever come across. Cotton supply chains travel through many, many countries. And along the way, there are many opportunities for cheating. Some countries have utilized state-sponsored human trafficking in order to collect that cotton. Often it's a high-quality cotton, but at a very low price. And it provides opportunity for a very price-pressured supply chain to regain a little bit of margin, but not legitimately. And I think many consumers would be appalled to contemplate the notion that their garment they're wearing could be the product of human trafficking. Using the trace bits that are left from the nucleus, we're able to discern a tremendous amount of information. And while our project is not yet complete, we can certainly discern the uh, differences between some Uzbek uh, strains of uh, cotton versus American sources of a similar cotton. Does it provide an absolute assurance that an Uzbek seed was not germinated in India? It doesn't. So we have alternative methods that can help uh, answer those questions. Well, one way is to investigate the microbiome, that is the bacteria from the source of water that was used to water that cotton. So Uzbekistan, for example, has a very unique water character. The second is the mineral content, which comes more from the earth. So by analyzing the mineral content against a database, you can say exactly where did that seed germinate, and where was it watered, and what are the genetic mutations that might indicate its genetic history. Cotton retailers and cotton brand owners are very much concerned about what they deliver to the consumer, as is the federal government. At the uh, federal level in the United States, the Dodd-Frank Act actually had a provision uh, that made it essentially a federal crime for a retail product to be sold that benefited from human trafficking in some way. We do expect that in the next year or two, we will be able to distinguish the global cultivars of cotton based on their point of origin. We think it's an issue of global import, being one of the most complex supply chains, and if we can fix that, we can fix anything.